Hi fitness friends. Today we have a full body workout that was written by our dear fitness friend named Kristen R. So if you like this workout, make sure you tell her in the comment section. All right, for this workout, I will be using heavy, medium, and light weights. I'll also be using my 16 inch elevation and my ball. If you don't have a ball, you can certainly do the move against your couch or on the floor, and I'll remind you of that when we're about to do it. All right, there is lots of different time intervals and lots of different moves in this workout. So check out the breakdown, get a warm up done, get your water, get your equipment, and I will see you in a minute. All right, guys, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to go. We are starting right in. Our first set is 50 seconds on, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So we have two moves that we're gonna do back to back. The first move is a squat walk forward. So use the amount of room you have, go into four pulses, squat walk back, four, four pulses. That's our 50 second move. Then immediately following that for our 30 second move, you're gonna pick up a weight and do a goblet squat and press. So you're holding your weight at your chest like a goblet, squat down, come up, press it up, okay? I'm going to hit start. We have a 10 second countdown. We are going to do that, those moves twice, okay? So that's exactly a three minute three, interval, I believe. Two, so get down in a nice deep squat. You're walking forward. I have about room to do four here. Four pulses. One, two, three, four. Walk it back. You can hold a weight for this too. If you want to hold it goblet style, you can. These really just start to burn my quads out so good that my weighted vest is quite enough. Four pulses, walk it back. Good job. Stay low this whole time. Keep your form. Stay tight, get ready, you have five seconds left and you're gonna be grabbing the weight. So I'm gonna turn in my squat walk, grab my weight, squat it down, goblet, come up, press, squeeze your butt when you're pressing. Oh, squat jump, sorry. Do a grab a squat, press. Squat jump, squat it up, press. Sorry guys, squat jump, press. Squat jump, up, and press. Whew. 10 seconds rest, you're going back to your squat walk. Let's get it going. Two and one. Stay low. One, two, three, four. Get back there. Stick your butt out behind you, pulse it, get forward, fifteen seconds left, come on, stay low, stick your butt out. challenges. All right, for the challenges, I am counting 
on one leg only. <laughs> so grab your weight, hold it like your elbow at your chest. If there's challenges going, if you don't have an elevation, you can either do alternating forward lunges or high knees, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. We're moving right on. Set number two, we have bent over rows to three bent arm raises, which is gonna be a lighter weight. I'm gonna go 12 pounds. This is our 50 second interval. So bent over row, looks like this. One, two, three. And you're gonna come up, have your arms in a static bicep hold, Raise your elbows up for three. One, two, three, okay? Then we're immediately moving on to a skater row. So you're gonna hold your light weights and you're gonna be rowing the arm that is on the ground. So when you're in a skating position, your front leg is on the ground, you're rowing that arm. Skating it over, rowing this arm, got it? Okay. I have 12 pounds that I'm going to try to use for the first round. We'll see if it works. 10 second countdown has started. Three bent rows to three elbow raises for 50 seconds. Then immediately the skater rows. Here we go. One, 
two, three, come up, elbows bent, one, two, three, nice job, bent rows, one, two, three, I'm moving elbows out wide there, one, one, two, three, get down, one, two, three, come on up, one, ten seconds, two, three, get three more rows in, two, three, you're going right onto the stairs, so foot down, row that arm, skip it over, row, skip it over, row, so you're almost in like a curtsy lunge position when you're doing that row. Other side, 
got 10. Nice deep side lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, burpee rows. You're gonna do a right left row and left row in plank. You come up and do two bent rows at the top. That's one rep. You only have five. I'm going to the 12s here. Here we go. Jumping into plank, squeeze your butt. One. Two. between your legs, squeezing through your glutes and hamstrings to get up. Plank jack and oblique plank hops for the 30 second interval. So switching to my heavy weights before I hit start here. Let's go. 10 second countdown is started. Sumo deadlifts for 50 seconds. Three, two. Toes out wide. Knees are facing those toes. Bring it down. Squeeze up. Squeeze it. Up. 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 Nice work. Make sure that butt is getting as tight as you can at the top. Five seconds. You're dropping those weights, going right into the oblique plank hops and a plank jack. So, hop right, left, Or keep your abs tight, support that back. Chest stays up, drop your weights. Oblique hops and jacks. challenge moves. Oh. 
All right, so Kristen's challenge move was 20 staggered 180 squat jumps. If you don't have an elevation that you can stagger with, you're just doing 180 squat jumps. Then we're doing 10 heavyweight squat pauses. So you're going down, pausing, or pulsing, coming up. And then five quadzilla burpees. A quadzilla is four wide high knees, four rotating jump squats. <sighs> All right, take a quick drink. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep my vest on. <sighs> Get these weights out of the way. Right here. Okay. 180 degree rotating jump squats, or not rotating, 180 degree staggered jump squats for 20. <sighs> Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Going right on to the heavy weighted squat pulses for 10. So I'm holding my weights in a parallel squat down by my legs. So my feet are closer together. Here we go. One. Squeeze at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, quadzilla burpees. So set your weights down out of the way. Push up at the bottom, wide high knees, rotate at the top. Here we go. Keep 
your shoulders down and breathe. Nice work. Two more rounds. Here we go. Curl it up. Turn them out. Go down. Last round of Zotman curls, and then we're moving on to a press to a wide pull down. So I'm gonna stick with 12 pounds here. Curl it up, turn it out, bring it down. You have any trouble opening that? All right, bring it here when it beeps. Palms out, curl up, go down. Three seconds. Hurry up, let me hear Roman. Gosh, this play up is hard to open. Yeah, the small ones. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, I can't open my myself. Press oh. it up. Mom, I can open my cell. Wide pull down. You're activating your lateral muscles here. Press it straight up. Go out wide. Bring it down. Press up. Go wide. I'm going to finish out this bring down because I started a little late. All right, we have three more rounds of that. When you're bringing it down, go nice and slow. Focus on that eccentric lower. Press up, wide, bring it down. Press up, go wide, bring it down. Feel your lateral muscles working. Wide. Down. Nice work. Two more rounds of that. Here we go. Press it up. Arms out wide. Slowly lower. Up. Go wide. These should be really getting hard for you. If they're not, you need to increase your weight. Next move after this round is a bent over row to a fly. So I'm again gonna stick with 12 pounds because I can do more for the row, but the fly is where I would really cheat if I go heavier. Slow lower. How do your lats feel? Lighter on fire. Okay, bent over row to a back fly. So give yourself some room. Make sure you can go out wide with those arms for the fly. So I'm doing a close bent row. Elbows are staying in. Bring it down, back fly. Nice work. Those flies are tough. Whew. Shake out your hands if you need to. Let's go. Bent row. Down to a fly. Stick your butt out behind you. Keep your back straight. Abs are tight. Well, fun. Yes, sweetie. Here, right here. Bring up. These little tiny Play-Dohs are so hard to open. Okay. Ah, here we go. They're so hard to open. Yeah. <sighs> ah. Row. Down. Fly. Ah. I am shaking when I try to do these flies. Last round of these, and we're moving on to a plank tricep kickback. So you're alternating arms. So row, down, flop, down, fly, row, down, 
goodness. Down. All right, plank, tricep kickbacks. I'm gonna attempt to stick with twelves again. We'll see how it goes. High plank position. If you have square weights, stay right on them. Row it up, kick it back, down. Try to keep your butt super tight so your hips aren't rocking. Give your feet a nice wide base. Stretch it out in between. Three more rounds of this. There we go. yesterday and this is just killing my triceps. Let's go get up there. Nice wide base. Row. Kick back. When you do that kick back, keep that elbow up. You don't want to let your elbow drop. You want to isolate those triceps. Make it work. Make it burn. Breathe it out. Nice job. We have one round left. Here we go.
Good job, bicep curls. So I'm gonna go with 12 pounds in each hand. Full bicep curl to a half bicep curl. So, full curl up, bring it halfway down, curl back up, go all the way down. Half, curl it. Squeeze those biceps. Don't swing the weights. Keep your elbows pinned to your body. Nice work. Breathe it out. Squeeze it up. We're going back to a heavy weight for a front squat. You're loading those weights up to your shoulders. Squatting down nice and low as you can control. Keeping your back straight, your chest up, get down, come halfway up, go back down, squeeze up. I'm going to try to remember which half of the move I did for the second round and do the other half. So like right now I'm doing the bottom half of the squat, I'm going to try to do the top half of the front squat next round. If that doesn't make any sense, just keep doing what you're doing. You're still working the same muscle groups. Still working hard. Five seconds. Okay. Chest presses again. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with my full weights. I'm gonna really burn it out. So Get your elbows out wide, press those weights straight up above your shoulders, come halfway down, squeeze it up, full press, halfway down, squeeze it up, go up into your bridge if you want, torque those glutes a little bit too. Keep your form. Your hands should be raising and lowering at the same pace. If you find one is weaker than the other, drop your weights. Nice work. All right, we have the plie squat. I believe that's next. Yep, so grab your weights. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Full squat. Come up, halfway down, back up, full squat. Squeeze your butt and your inner thighs. Keep your chest up, shoulders back. Breathe it out. Oh. 
Alright, front squat. Heavy weights, load them up to your shoulders. Knees are a little bit wider than the shoulder width. Get comfortable. Load it up. Here we go. Full squat. Now I'm doing the top half. Halfway down. Squeeze up. Full squat. Halfway down. Squeeze up. I'm going really deep for that full squat. I'm really exaggerating it. My butt's going way below my knees.
bellies again. <sighs> Grab your weights. Here we go. Nice wide. Fly, pull it together.
and you're hopping. Nice work. Good job. We're almost there. Five seconds. Two and one. And lizard hops. So one leg forward, one hand forward, hopping and switching hands and feet. It's a core quickie. Four moves. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Two times through. All right. So that's eight rounds total. Beginning with X's and O's to a V up. Oh, hate V ups. Alternating plank clutch to a scorpion. Side to side V ups and a gladiator get up. So with a gladiator get up, I'm gonna hold 12 pounds. I'll show you what that is quickly. It is a half of a Turkish get up. So you're down on your back. We're gonna stay on one leg the whole round. The second round will be the other side. Arm out wide, leg out wide. Reach straight above your shoulder and that knee is up. You come up to your forearm, press up to your hand, go up to a T stand, Raise that leg, then you bring it down, come down, back to your forearm, and get down, and repeat. Okay, so forearm, press up, T-stand, leg raise. All right, okay, let's do it. That's the only move that you're going to use weight for here. So X's and O's, alternating plank punches. You could hold the light weight for that if you want. It's up to you. 10 second countdown started. Let's do it. So, out wide, X on legs, arms and legs. Come into your O, go out into a V up. Y, X, V up. They are so hard for me, guys. So pardon me as I struggle through them. Okay, next move. Alternating plank punches to a scorpion. So in high plank position. 
Punch forward. Keep your hips tight. Forward. Scorpion leg. I'm hip dipping. I think that's what she meant there. Scorpion leg. Hip dip. Plank punches. Scorpion. Dip it. Scorpion leg. Dip. Punch. Punch. Third move, alternating side to side V crunches. Don't watch me. Roll from side to side, V up, using your oblique muscles. Keep your feet up the whole time. Stay tight, keep your abs tight, suck them in. Don't push them out when you're working on your abs. Okay, and the like gladiator get up is last, so I'm gonna grab my weight. Stay on this side the whole time. So, forearm, press up, T-stand, leg up. Hold it for a second, come back down, and repeat. job. Keep it going. Okay, we're going to do the other arm next round. Back to the X's and O's and the ups. So arms and legs out and wide. X to the O, out, the up.